Hello guys, it's Werimo here from Werimo Eats and I'm back in the kitchen with a very interesting recipe. So Leo, I'm coming to show you how to make very delicious and very easy samosas. Uh, long of friends can make samosas. I know samosas can be intimidating at times, but with this recipe, he knew the only recipe you need. So make sure you try it out. Alafu unyambia what you think in the comment section down below. And you can also take a picture and tag me on the social media pages that are right here. And I'll also let I'll also give you a link in the description box. Alafu come on who just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please, please, please consider subscribing. Just hit that subscribe button up. It's in red. Then you hit the bell so you can get notified every time I post. Nikki post to a pataka message direct to your DM. So yes, make sure you hit that bell. I love without wasting any more time. Sit on to pick it. So guys, I'm back here to show you the ingredients that we need for this easy and very amazing samosa. So tutaanza na ground beef or do we call it in Kenya minced meat? Uh, so I'm going to start with this and um, we'll also need samosa sheets. Easy chapo please, easy chapo. But hizi ni mebai super. He sheet moja ni 10 bob. Neza buy in a well-stocked supermarket. And I'm using these ones because this is a very easy recipe like this is the easiest samosas can be so that is why i bought the sheet sikonda kwa peleka in the nini ile process ngumu ya ku make but if you want me to show you how to make samosa sheets step by step you just have to let me know in the comment section down below imagine it's that easy and i will show you and then for my ing ingredients we'll also need these spices we'll need salt to taste Obviously, in Kashube, and some black pepper. We also need cumin. These are cumin seeds that I've just grounded. Uh, the cumin seeds and uh, garam masala. As I told you, this is a very nice mixed spice. It has everything together. And we'll also need this garlic, garlic cloves. I'm using six because we can't go wrong with garlic. And we'll also need one red onion and one spring onion. <laughs> Yes, also, but you can use either you can just use one or both. It's better when you're together. You also need hizi, coriander, or is it ndania, or is it cilantro? These are very fresh. They smell nice. Yeah. And you also need he. He ni all purpose class. So, sunajo vinya samosas hu fungwa because you can't, these sheets cannot close themselves. So, to make paste that it will glue that will like it fold your samosa. So, to to me all purpose flour na margin. Imagine, then you just mix and then that will be your paste. That's all. I'm just going to cut it into half, then dip it in this water. So that it's, you know, that, I don't know, that nini, that ajia kulia to prevent it. So you just cut it and put it in some water. So as our onions are soaking, I'm going to cut my spring onion. Here at least to liangi. Um, I'm going to remove the greens, but if you prefer using the greens, it's okay. But I prefer letting, leaving them out. I'm going to slice this. Pause.
we're going to try to make them as slim as possible so that you don't bite into one big onion. So cut them into the smallest pieces that you can. Now that I'm done with the spring onions, we're still going to let this continue soaking in the water. I'm not going to chop up my garlic. I'm using six cloves of garlic. And I think I've told you in my other videos, if you want to have an easier time to peel, you just take your chef knife, then you place it heavy, then you smash. It's now going to be easier to peel out. Imagine, start easy. So you just take your chef, your knife, do that, remove the upper part, and it's just going to peel out easily. Yeah, I'm going to do the rest. I'm not going to mince this. Mincing them is just chopping them to very small, the smallest pieces you can. Now when you do this, you just... So you take your knife, you put your fingers here, then you... But if you don't want to do this, you can just smash it using a quinoa. I'm not going to put the garlic aside and now I'm going to chop my coriander, my fresh coriander. I'm just going to try and remove the stems. So we're also going to try and chop this into very small I'm not going to put my coriander aside so that I can now I cannot chop my onions. I think now you've given the onions enough time, Hapa, to remove that electio So I'm just going to take them and chop them into very small cubes. Very small cubes. Just like that. Now we are going to go to the pot and prepare our meat. The most fun part about this recipe. Yes, so now this is my pot. I'm now going to take some oil and pour in the pot. So I'm just going to put some oil up. We are not going to let the oil to icky cook. Uh, to be very hot. Now when the oil is already hot, we add the meat. I'm not going to try and break, break the clumps of meat that are clumped together. When you add your, when you add your meat when the oil is hot, it will prevent stewing and uh, it will brown immediately. As you can see, mine is already brown. I'm not going to let this cook for about. We're going to let this cook for um, five minutes and I'm going to check up on it and the water will have cooked down here. Yeah. 
also know it's rendering and cooking in its own part. This is five minutes later. We're just going to let it continue cooking. But if um, we're just going to let it continue cooking, you can see it's on fire. Yeah, we're just going to let it cook. Now when you see the meat is starting to brown like this, you know it's ready. I'm now going to add my onions. These are the red onions and I'm also going to add some spring onions and some garlic. Smells amazing, baby. What smells so nice? We're just going to let this meat cook until tender. No, we're going to let the onions cook until they're soft. The smell from this dish is just superb. So make sure you try it out and let me know in the comment section down below. Yes, we're going to let this cook. We'll be back in um, three minutes. A few moments later. Now guys, this is three minutes later. My onions are already soft. Now I'm going to spice it up. I'm going to add my garam masala. Okay. Today I'm just eyeballing yeah? because the meat is fancy. Then I'm going to add some salt to taste. Make sure you don't over salt. It's better to under salt than to over salt. Now, our black pepper. I'm just going to grind it. It smells amazing already. I'm going to stir this in. Now I'm going to give this a taste test and let you know if it's ready. Hmm. Hmm. So nice. When the meat is perfect, the samosa is already nice. So now after tasting, I'm just going to add my coriander. Coriander is I fake quiver. Now we are just going to let it steam for like a few minutes, even seconds, one minute left here. And it's ready. People, I'm going to switch this off. And now I'm going to show you how to make the pockets and how to seal them. Yes. So now I'm going to show you how to make the paste, the glue for the samosas. We need all purpose flour and water. I have some water here. Now I'm going to take we need three tablespoons of all purpose flour. I'm going to take two. Let's use two because I'm using the measuring cup, the measuring one. But if you're using the normal teaspoon, you can use three. I'm going to put two up on. Then I'm going to add three tablespoons of water. One, two, three. We're now going to mix this well and make a very a paste like glue, super glue, so that it does not open when you're deep frying it. Well, mm -hmm. you can see it's runny, it should be runny. It was just lighter than the pancake mixture. Mm 
Now I'm going to put this aside. Now we have our sheets that we have cut and our delicious meat as you can see it looks so fine. And now the paste, the glue now. Remember it's runny. So now we'll take this sheet. You bring this corner here and then you bring the other one over it. And uh, we are trying now to aim at this hapa kusikuwa na shimo. So this is the pocket. Mm, so I'm going to repeat so that I can ensure there is no hole. So that oil does not enter through there. You can see. Now when I'm satisfied with the shape, I take my glue. And apply. Make sure you also apply here. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to close it. Just like that. You can see it's now closed because the glue has held it. Now I'm going to press in. Then we're going to take our meat filling. You can see I've ensured a kuna hole. There's nothing so that oil does not pass through. I'm not going to take my filling like about not too much. Just like that. Then I have already filled. Now I'm going to tuck. I'm going to try and tuck in. Evo. Try and tuck in. And then take the glue and apply all over. And now we are still going to make sure that there is no hole. Ensure there is no hole so that oil does not pass through. There is our samosa. Oh my god! Oh. Wow! Now I'm going to show you to do the rest. So now I'm going to take this fill this samosa sheet and you can see these two corners I'm going to bring them together so I'll take this and bring it here and try to overlap it with the other one by ensuring that there's no hole over here even you can see it's perfect even so when I'm satisfied with the shape I take my glue and apply it here and also apply it on the edge also take this side Also apply it on the edge so that it does not allow any oil inside the samosa. And now we're going to take it and overlap by still ensuring that there is no hole. I'm going to press everything together so my pocket is ready. And if there's a hole up a chini, you just take your glue and uh, try and close it. Yeah. So now, when the pocket is ready, I take my filling and uh, add it. Add it there. Now I tuck I tuck this upper part in. Then I take the knee. I confirm that there are still no holes on the sides as you can see. Then I take my glue and apply it 
also in the corners and then just like that and my samosa is ready to be dipped in the oil so you're not going to put the samosas in the oil make sure that the oil is not too hot on turning your samosas so that they don't burn on one side so I think mine are ready you can see the color is perfect this is the color we are looking for just perfect i know you're already hungry so just try the, out this recipe and let me know what you think in the comment section down below that color